you want to choose some sort of a mantra. But what I do is I just kind of just say, like, thank you, thank you, thank you, over and over in my head. I don't even have to say it with words. Sometimes I like to say it with words, but sometimes I'm just feeling it. Like just, I'm, I'm looking around, I'm looking at, every, at, the, at the beautiful color of the leaves and I'm saying thank you. Not even thank you for, for them being here and all that kind of woo-woo stuff. Just thank you that I'm here in this moment and I'm getting, I'm getting to see it, I'm getting to experience it. Thank you that I'm aware now that this sort of thing exists. Just thank you for everything, you know? So, a little bit of magic that's lingering on you. Don't squander that. And the best way to kind of soak that all in is just be grateful. It doesn't matter what for. It's just about feeling grateful in general. It's the same thing. You can feel grateful for whatever you want to feel grateful for. It all is being grateful. So, I'm trying to find beauty in sadness. I feel like it's, it's kind of the most difficult of all the feelings to really understand why it's so beautiful. But when you grasp, when you understand the concept that it's so beautiful because you had the exact opposite of that pain that you're experiencing, that sadness, you could only experience the exact opposite of that because you're experiencing the sadness of it. And in a way that's kind of sad, but when you look at when you look at the when you look at life, when you look at your life as if you were an infinite being that I don't know, in my case just you know, I just want to feel good, right? Don't we all just want to feel good? That's why I'm trying to find beauty in all the feelings.